In response to the outbreak, travel restrictions are now in effect at airports around the world. And joining me today to talk about the fallout and what travelers can do at this time is travel expert Johnny Jett. Okay, well, first of all, I want to talk about the scope of this. Have we ever seen such drastic steps being taken for travelers? No, I mean, this is unprecedented. I mean, it's, people are saying this is worse than 9-11 in terms of um, airlines and the travel industry. Um, you know, hopefully this is once in a lifetime and, and it will pass quickly, but I don't think it's going to be that quick. Yeah, we're already seeing uh, the lengthy effects, but what should people be doing right now if they do have scheduled trips? There's so many questions I know from travelers at this time. Listen, I'm a travel expert and I have so many questions. We really don't know what's going on. The situation's changing every minute, it seems like. Uh, just yesterday, the president said that he might um, put, impose the restrictions on the UK and Ireland, and they've been exempt from this European travel ban, and which went into effect last night at midnight. So, um, you know, I'm just hearing different stories for those travelers that are in Europe and they're coming back to America. You know, if you're not an American or, or a green card holder or a, a spouse of one, you cannot enter the country for the next 30 days. Uh, and they have to go through 13 airports. The Americans have to go through 13 airports to be screened. And uh, although I had friends traveling just yesterday and two days ago and returned from um, Europe and there, there were no checks or anything like that. So they're going to have to act quick. Wow. So there was no checks implemented for them just yet. That's not, not as yesterday as of yesterday. No, I haven't heard anyone about today, but it's still early. Um, what has you spoke about it a little bit, the experience people have had flying from Europe and we know these restrictions um, don't really apply. They don't apply to U.S. citizens, but that doesn't mean that they aren't impacted. Like you were saying, enhanced screening uh, set to go in effect, as well as many of these airlines canceling their flights altogether. Yeah, you know what? Once the president made the announcement a few nights ago about uh, imposing this restriction, people just scrambled. They're buying expensive plane tickets. Now, I was just checking flights even for today or tomorrow. They're cheap if you're flying from London to the U.S. I'm talking under $500 one way. Some people are paying $20,000 for tickets, which is crazy. Um, so I think the big thing is just take a deep breath. If you're in um, mainland Europe, or continental Europe, I should say, um, and these countries that have been um, have restrictions, they're saying that you cannot come into the U.S. without being uh, self quarantined for 14 days. But once you have, once you get screened when you come into America, and this is only for again uh, Americans, uh, green card holders, and things like that. But you can't you can't use a loophole of going through London, which everyone thought you could right after the president made the announcement. So if you do go through London or the UK or Ireland, you have to be there for at least 14 days before coming back to the US. But again, I don't know if that's gonna work because the president said he might impose um, restrictions on them. A lot of unknown, but there are many people here in the US that are just traveling within the US that don't want to go to the airport right now. Um, what can they do if they wanna cancel their flights? What is that looking like for them? I don't blame them. I actually just canceled all of my travel plans for March and April, and I'm usually on a plane a couple times a week. Um, so what you can do right now, the airlines trying to get through to them is almost impossible. So if you can wait a couple days, if your flight's not for a week or two, just wait a couple days to the calls calm down because all the people from Europe are trying to get back and then uh, call them up and they will, they will offer you a waiver. If, but if your flight is canceled, by the way, they'll give you a full refund. But if your flight's not canceled, um, they will give you a, a credit for a year. But just make sure you c cancel before your flight takes off, usually 10 minutes before. I know a lot of people looking at airline, uh, air flight prices right now and saying, wow, they are so inexpensive. Um, but is this really the time to buy with so much uncertain uncertainty? Should people yeah, well, really be buying these flights, purchasing these flights? I actually just wrote a post a few days ago saying this is actually the actual absolute best time to buy for travel in the summer. I wouldn't travel right now. I, 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 would, I would stay home for the next month or two. And then, uh, but for the summer, I just bought some tickets. I mean, I'm flying LA to Toronto for $110 each way, which is incredible. And the reason why you wanna buy now before March 31st is because the airlines have all these um, loop, uh, loose restrictions. So if you do buy and you wanna cancel, 
you can cancel up to December 31st, whenever your ticket is, they'll give you a credit for a year. Um, so that's why I'm telling people to buy because the airfares are so low right now, but now they're all, all the airlines are uh, reducing capacity. So in a few days or even a week, these fares are going to go up or, or when the summer, summer hits and if this does pass, which we all pray it does, there's not going to be a lot of seats on the plane. So prices will be expensive. So now they're cheap and you will get a credit mm -hmm. that's if you don't go. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining us.